Okay, everybody, tis the season for the Christmas book. This is Vicki from Muzzy Table Studio, and I was on a roll. I cleaned out another drawer and thought, well, no, I really need to start prepping my Christmas stuff. So here are all the envelopes and things that I have out. And then there's uh, more bulky stuff in the drawer that won't go in the Christmas book, so I'm not going to drag it out. I found a piece of... Did I cut that straight? No, I did not. I found a piece of scrapbook paper that was green with the alphabet on it. And then I have my um, Carol, Carol Shelby's chili box. And thou shall glue here. Yeah, okay. So I need a scraper. And I need copious amounts of glue. And I also need an emery board to rough this up. This is not going to do it. That's a bone folder. Here we go. So because this is very slick, I want the glue to stick to it. And I would do this whether it was on the inside or the outside, because whatever paper you put on this, look, see? I want it to stick to the cardboard. So I'm going to rough it up with the emery board so that the glue will help the paper to adhere better to it. it. Does make a bit of a mess. I love this size box. Except for I probably should pick a box with a bigger spine as much junk as I cram in here. <laughs> So I don't have any themes or thoughts about how this is going to go yet. All I'm doing is um, just getting started. I just want to cover my book because when the first week in December starts, I don't want to be, like last year, 11 days behind everybody else. I would like to get done, get started, and get finished, you know? I'd like to be able to keep up with everybody else who's doing their Christmas books. Although, like I think I mentioned, I'm not going to do it December daily because honestly, I just don't think about it every day. Well, I do, but I don't work on it every day. Because, you know, I have a life. <laughs> no, not really, but <laughs> that's my story. Now I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right. Let's smooth it out. I'm using PVA because I think that is a better glue for this situation because I think it's going to glue a lot nicer than what Art Glitter Art Glitter will because like Art Glitter is in that little teeny weeny tubey thing and I need more copious amounts of glue. Alright, flip that baby over and I'm going to smooth it out with a bone folder. because I don't want my paper to pucker. All right, so this is not a three-piece book, but I do want to find where the fold is here and give it a little extra nudge. And I'm going to do the inside stuff, and then I'm going to put it under some heavy weight, probably for five or six hours, maybe a little bit longer. And um, make sure that it, oops, make sure that it is flat, although it's not going to stay flat. <laughs> not the way I put stuff in it. All right, here's my corner trimmer to make sure I don't trim off too much so my corners are nice I thought about making this a Coptic book and I thought oh yeah I'll keep consistent what I've done all the other years in the past Let's see here. 
I didn't realize how much Christmas stuff I had. Every year I keep hoping I'll use more and more. And then a darling friend will mail me, excuse me, mail me more stuff. And then I'm three steps forward, two backwards. <laughs> okay, so we can use the little squirt bottle for this. And do I need to poke a pin in it? Ah, uh, I do. All right, get behind all this stuff and find myself a pen. A pen, not pen, pen. Let's make sure, oh, clear the pipes. And there we go. I'm gonna, there we go. Put it along the edge. And then kind of scoochy here. Take your bone folder. Lift that baby up and over. You can scooch it on the table or you can use the bone folder. And it's a good thing I use it like that because now I got glue on it and it's not all over my table, which is fine. I don't care if the glue's there. I care if it's here and it sticks to the front, which, believe it or not, I have done. I don't know what kind of paper I'm going to use in this thing this year. But I did, I did want to at least get my um, cover done and then try to find good paper for this year. I think maybe, I can't remember, I think last year I might have used mixed media paper, I don't remember. Or Christmas cardstock paper, that might be it. All right, so let's tuck that in the corner a little bit with a fingernail. And give this a little push. A little nudge in the corner. So we like our corners to be nice. Run along the edge. Whoop. Okay, so I finished the top and the bottom, tops and the bottoms, and I don't want to bend it right now because I'm so afraid I'm going to crack the spine, so I want to make sure that I have enough paper to do this whole thing. And I don't want to do my paper all the way across because of what happens in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to trace it with my pencil that is underneath all, this Christ all these Christmas envelopes. I'm going to take my paper cutter and cut along the pencil lines. And yes, I will have to cut it down more, but this is a little more accurate than me just looking at it going, I like good. I don't want to do that. Okay, this is for the right side. In case I get them mixed up. In case they're not cut exactly even. And this is... And this is, I'm going to go in there like this. I don't want my letters to be upside down. I've done that a couple times. <laughs> and we will have to do some adjustments to it. 
And then I'm going to have to cut the middle section. Oh, see, I already see this is this is not cut straight here. So let me make the adjustment now. There you go. That looks better. Now let's try this. This is left. And I'm going to have to cut a little bit off here because I don't want it to be in the fold. Whoops, the fold of the book. So it'll either hang out here or mess up that part. So I don't really, I need to cut a little bit off. And this will be the same way. Oh, and this is not cut straight either. This side is crooked. So let us give it a little trimmy trim. see how we're doing here. Oh, the trim was good, but we need to take a little off the top. So let's take a hair off the top. Usually it's about a sixteenth of an inch is all you need to do. I try not to take too much at one time, just in case it's good enough. And let's take a look. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's done for that one. And we need to adjust this one. And I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have the two side pieces done, I would like to put another piece in the middle. And I'm going to use this as my guide. Now this, this will be covered up, so if it's not perfect, the only place it needs to be perfect is here, I'm right here. Well, I say perfect, but it needs to be more lined up. So this one is the right side, because this is going to go over this, and then you're going to have the crease here, the valley. This one will go here. And then you'll have the other one so they don't interfere with each other. So this is one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, and this is what's left over. Pretty good, huh? All right, I'm going to glue, and then I'll come back in a little bit and show you what's next. Hey everybody, this is part three to the Christmas book. Or maybe it's continuation of part two. That might be it. It's continuation of part two. Um, you guys already saw that I did the cover. And I had cracking because I got overzealous about fooling around with it while it was still wet and it cracked. So I took some... It's not flocked. Well, it's felty feeling. Um, scrapbook paper and put it over the edge so that you can't see the cracking. So right now I have... Let's honk a needle and three signatures and I'm doing the three whole pamphlet stitch because I've done all the other books this way that I've made in the past and I, I want to be consistent with the construction. Um, so I bought, I, I guess it's a ream of sulfite paper and it is 9 by 12. Yeah, 9 by 12. So I had to cut, you know, cut it down. And here's part of it here. So you know what's coming with these, right? <laughs> um, so so I, um, I cut the paper. I measured and I wrote down the dimensions. Oh, so the dimensions for the width, I did 4 inches times two, which is eight. Then um, the height is five and an eighth. And I put it in the book and realized that it should have just been five. So I went back and cut a sliver off of the sheets. Each um, signature has five pieces of paper folded over. And I've already poked all my holes. And so I'm just sewing it in right now. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what I did was a trick I learned from 
uh, book club I belong to is to number and do the top so you remember which is top, which is bottom. So when you sew them in, you don't sew them in wrong, which I have been known to do. So this is top uh, signature number two. And this is top signature number two spot. Top number two. Um, my choice of thread I made a little bit thicker than stuff from the past because you know I learned something from that book from Kevin Kevin Smith Keith Smith Keith Smith's book um, about if you're gonna have it be a wide bulky thing you need to make sure that your thread is a little bit better than just dental floss so that's what I'm doing I'm using an unwaxed, I think it's unwaxed linen that I bought many moons ago at a Michael's in Virginia Beach. And I have not lived in Virginia Beach for the last four or five years, five or six years, I don't know. Um, so I want to use some of this stuff up because I have new stuff that I'd like to start using. But I figured since I'm trying to lessen what I buy this year, that I would use the stuff I have on hand. And I have a lot on hand. <laughs> and I did buy the sulfite paper earlier this year. Not after the 1st of November. But I did buy some... What did I buy? I bought a craft supply of some sort. What was it? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, mixed media paper because I was out of it. So I did buy some mixed media paper and... Uh, it was a brand I've never tried before, and I guess I will be using that in a book here shortly, yet to be filmed, but is written down to film, just haven't done it yet. Um, I don't know how often I will pop, ooh, it really takes off the flocky stuff. I don't, oh, it just makes it look worse than what it did before, oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. All right. Anyway, so um, I don't know how often I will be posting the Christmas book. I will try to post as often whoop, as I can, but I am not doing. Uh, I'm not doing it every day. I just not interested in posting every day. I'm um, knitting myself a lapkin to put in my art rooms. I have a recliner in here, and when I watch YouTube, sometimes it gets cold in here. And I decided I wanted one, and I don't usually make that kind of stuff for myself, but I thought, eh, be a selfish knitter this time, so I'm going to. And I've already got it started, and it's a quickie. Well, I, it's a quickie. It's a very fast pattern because I made it up. <laughs> it's not following anybody else's pattern. It's just pat culminate. Uh, amalgamation of patterns that I've learned from knitting over the years uh, using seed stitch, purl, and knit. And that's the basic three stitches that will be on the afghan because I am not interested in doing something totally elaborate. I think the most elaborate thing I might do is change colors that, you know, going full tilt here with it. <laughs> All right. That's number two sewn in. And let's see, where's number three's gonna, where's three gonna go? And there's number three marked and ready to go. This is the top, see there's T1, T2, and T3. Now I don't know how many pages I have. I hope I have enough to do all of December. I have not been addressed my Christmas cards yet. No, I did not make them. I decide this year I'd rather put my energy into something else. Okay, um, so I will not be sending out handmade cards, just not in my wheelhouse this year. Um, I've knit some Christmas gifts for family, and I need to get those ready to go. I even did the threads, weave the threads in and everything. So what I need to do, come on. What I need to do now is to um, get them an envelope, get them a dressing, get them out. 
I don't know if they'll be able to wait till Christmas to open them, but I just don't want to be one of those people standing there on the 10th sweating bullets that something won't get there for my grandson for Christmas. So I've decided that I'm not going to be procrastinating this year. Come on. Oh, my gosh. I think I should have poked the holes a little bit bigger. Holy moly. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah, I'm, after looking at how fat the other previous years were with just two signatures, I decided this year we'll go back to three again. Um, because it's just, the stuff gets too overwhelmed. And then I have this big fat alligator mouth thing I have to put a rubber band around because it's so fat it barely closes. And then of course the book covers are bowed. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right, so let me take a look at this and erase my stuff. I decided not to put mixed media paper in here because I hate to waste good paper that I'm going to glue stuff on and cover it up because mixed media paper is not cheap. And with the way prices are these days, I just put in the sulfite paper because it was only one step above computer paper for strength. I mean, it's not the strongest paper in the world, but I think it'll take the weight of whatever I'm doing. I'm not painting on stuff. I'm not. It's basically gluing. All right, so as uneven as this is, the other side looked much nicer, but then... I noticed that my stuff, my letters would be upside down. I really want to use this as the front. Oh, look, already. <laughs> <Get ready. laughs> I beat this paper into submission to get it in here. I went over it with the bone folder and the whole thing before I stuck it in here. I see that it did not go as well as I planned. <laughs> cooperating. All right, well, I guess I should put my letters to the right side up. All right, so here we are with the three signatures in it, so I am ready to go do the Christmas book. So please stay tuned for the gluing and all the good stuff that comes with making a Christmas book. I got to put something on the front. We'll think about that later. Thanks, everybody, and see you in the next Christmas book update.